Let's start so I can finish. Hello YouTube, welcome back to the Every Closet. My name is Stephanie and along with my lovely partner Ethan, we are two full-time resellers of used clothing on places like Poshmark and eBay. So if that sounds interesting to you, you wanna follow along on that journey, hit subscribe down below. In today's video, we are doing a thrift with me and a haul. So there will be a short thrift with me portion where I show you some of the things we didn't pick up and why. And then this is the part where I show you what I did pick up. Okay, heading to Value Village. We got our donate bag because you don't show up at Value Village without a donate bag, even if it's 30% off because you want more coupons because you want to stack them because you buy a lot at once. Oh crap, I don't have any hands. Ethan, can you open the door for me? Bye. Ethan. Bye bye. Don't treat the inside of our car, it's filthy. All right, here we are in the T search section. Ship that. <laughs> Ahem. This is a Wilfred Free t shirt. Um, it was inexpensive, but I also thought it was too plain and would max out around $30. This is a not so plain Wilfred shirt, but it's very expansive, and I've had this shirt before. We sold it for $25 US dollars. More Aritzia, Wilfred Free, but again, way too plain and also kind of pilled. So heck no, this is fake Moschino. If you're wondering if something's fake machi Machino or however you pronounce it, you need to look at the care tag. So the care tag, I mean, there will be other indicators, but if the care tag is not A-E-F-F-E -F -F -E care tag, then you know for sure it's not. And this is not even close. So clearly this is not Machino. We don't have to think about it for one more second. Here we have a Torrid shirt. It was $7.99, but again, it was just too plain. Or maybe it's a dress. I don't know, like a long tunic. This is a Silence and Noise shirt. It is only $3 and something, but it's still so plain, and I know it would max out around $25, probably honestly $15. This is a brand I hadn't heard of before, Andre. I looked it up. It is not anything, so we move along. Same with this Maddie M. I look up everything I don't know. Um, one day I'll know everything. Just kidding, you'll never know everything. Okay, here we have a Babaton sweater. I would have paid that for it had it not been shrunken. It's very shrunk shrunken, so we don't even consider it, but I wanted to show you. Uh, here's a Babaton merino wool sweater, and it's not shrunken, so I think you'll see this in the haul. And yeah, it's just in really great condition, and why wouldn't I get it? We do have access to a lot of Aritzia, but you only take home the stuff that you're very confident in, you being me. Okay. Community, another Aritzia brand, but this sweater, I think I've tried to sell it before and it maxes around 30 35 so I didn't want to play with that um, profit margin. By the way, these clips are slowed down because I can't, I can't talk fast enough as I can thrift. Okay, here's a Staring at Stars cardigan that you'll also see in the haul. I got it because it was pretty substantial. I think I say that later. Ooh, this is slowed down. Well, look. If I don't thrift fast, I won't get through even two sections. Amuse Society is Revolve, but it's gone down a lot in comps lately and I just basically don't pick it up anymore. This is me showing you how I identify Lulu. Hey, look at that. It looks like a cut Lulu tag, even though it's only $5.99. Well, let's go find a Lulu emblem in the bottom left back corner as she does that. Oh, there it is. I don't know if they didn't notice it was Lulu, but this is mine now. You'll see it in the haul. Anyway, here we got an Angel of the North cardigan. I'm sick of selling these for like $30, so I believe I did pass on that, even though it was a reasonable size, but I just, I couldn't do it. Here we have a Joie, or Joy, I don't even know, cardigan. It was $12, and I couldn't do that. That's too rich for my blood, and this is obviously too shrunk for anyone's blood, except maybe a child. Here we have Icebreaker. I, yeah, clearly I just put all the stuff I was considering in one pile and then, yeah, took that home. Um, happy about it. I considered this J. Crew sweater because I could tell it was wool, but I just wanted to know the fabric content. And when I looked further into it, there was nothing cool like mohair or cashmere. Or, it was just wool. So I did not pick it up. This is a TLA shirt. It was really cute and they sell it at Anthropology, but are you kidding me for a t-shirt? $14.50? Get out of my face. 
Um, here we have a raincoat. I was pretty close to picking this up just because of its length. It was almost a trench length, but that brand like basically has no comps. It's like rainforest or something. So I ended up not getting it, but huh, maybe I regret it. Anyway, this is a mousy knit cardigan. Mousy is obviously a great brand for denim, but like I cannot move the rest of their items, even this long cardigan. So moving along. Here we have this Wilfred 1449 that's got a size as one, so that's pretty modern. I think you'll see this in the haul, so we probably don't need to talk about it right now. But obviously it's made out of some yummy materials. Yummy meaning expensive. Here we got some more Wilfred. I did not pick this up. I like this more than the other things, but people on buying on Poshmark don't seem to. It looks like plain things. Oh, also cold shoulder. Are you kidding? Get out of my face. Okay, this was a Wilfred Free bodysuit, and I normally wouldn't have got it, but come on, $4.50? And it needs a depilling, but it was otherwise, it didn't have holes or anything, so like, I need that. And then, oh, I'll also show you I got this. I was just like, come on, that's adorable. I don't know if those are penguins or what. I don't even care. I might wear it. So, man, I showed you a lot of what I actually did end up getting. This is a rare for us. This is a Kit and Ace shirt. It was only $6.99, but like, it's literally just a black t-shirt. I can't get people to pay me enough for just a black t-shirt. So if it was anything else, I would have definitely bought it. Here's a scotch and soda. It was eight bucks. You'll see it in the haul. So please move on quickly. What do you mean we slowed it down so I could talk during the things? There we go. I wonder what this is. Oh, Carhartt. How dare they ask so much for a Carhartt shirt? It would sell well and quickly, but like for $20. So there's no profit in that. Uh, maybe 25 or 30 but still not enough profit in that buy a lot here's an intimately free people item uh, normally I do pick this up but it was $13 and again it was just plain it was black it had sheer sleeves it seemed really outdated to me I didn't think I was going to make enough profit on it here we go again with a Wilfred I can't fully explain to you why I picked up the other ones and not this one. It looked older. It looked less fun. It looked like it was made out of less good stuff. I don't know. It's just an instinct, okay? And as per the haul, Wilfred and then Lululemon. But I didn't actually end up getting that one either. Um, I think if it had been over a size eight, I would have. But as a size four or even a six, that's a harder sell and it's an older size dot. So no thank you. This was a great price for a We The Free item, and that was because it had stains, which made me so sad. I definitely, definitely would have gotten this, but the stains were unacceptable, so we move on from that. This is, oh, Wilfred Free, would you look at that? But it's a thing that no one would buy from me, and I just know it, and then I looked up fig, and this wasn't the fig that I wanted. Here we got some stains. Very upsetting. On what? Hello? On... $7.99. Ah, oh, We The Free. Like, did someone just donate the whole We The Free wardrobe that they took and made into garbage? This is a Lucky Brand shirt, and it was $4.49. Anyway, I wanted it, so, like, I got it. But then I tried it on at home, and I actually don't like that color on me, so I think we're going to sell it. Um, What's that? Oh, Woolworths. Wool... Worths. That's a hard word. It's a vintage brand and obviously they make stuff out of wool, but I rechecked comps because I forgot what they were like and they were bad. So I didn't get those. I did get this Lulu shirt though because of how cheap it was. So you will see it in the haul. In the meantime, I'm just trying to find some Lulu things to show you, to prove to you that Lulu exists. Ah, huff. I looked up comps again because I was like, is this a cool streetwear thing? And the answer was no. Um, this is a 1 September. That's an anthropology brand. I don't remember why I didn't get it. Was it the price? It might have been the price. It might have been I didn't like that thing. It looked kind of old. It might have been I wasn't feeling it. I'm sick of anthro, but I'm not sick of very nice Lulu. I just checked, rechecked comps on this sweater and I'm very happy I got it. $9.99. They were being dumb. That's cool with me. There's a Wilfred shirt. I'm pretty sure I actually did end up getting that one too. So like, what are we doing here? Fire Trap sounds cool, but I did not get it. And then this is an Urban Outfitters piece. I liked the Tigers, but if we're being honest, I almost never get Urban Outfitters unless it's a real, 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 real cheap. 
Some of it you might have seen in the thrift portion, but mostly not. Mostly when I see something I know I want, I'm like, yay, and then I throw it in my cart. So that's <laughs> why we do this haul part. Unfortunately, Ethan started taking off some of the price tags, so only like 75%. The price is still on them, but I'm pretty sure I remember what I paid for most things anyway, because this was like two days ago, so I should know. <laughs> Last thing is it was the 30% off sale, again, at Value Village. So all of this was 30% off. Didn't even check the shoe section. I know. I ran out of time. I went through all the tops and sweaters and things like that, and then I had to leave. So Ethan came again, thankfully. We love Ethan. He dragged me out as needed to happen. I got a lot of sweaters. I was looking in that section because I figured people would be decluttering their fall and winter things. I, I don't know. I just like to shop for basically the opposite season. And actually, it did kind of work out. I noticed Value Village's prices on this stuff was a lot lower than it normally is. So that could be because they think, okay, this is out of season. Or it could be like, I don't know, who who knows why they do their pricing. I really think that they just roll a D20 and price based off that. That's my theory. Feel free to spread it. I'm sure it's accurate. Let's get into the haul. This first thing I got is the Buy Anthropology tag. It's a like, what do you even call these? Like faux wrap, lunge neck, layering sweater shirt. And it's an extra large. It really needs a good deep filling, like pretty badly. But it didn't have any stains or anything. And it's in an extra large, which is fantastic when selling anthropology in my experience. So we picked this up. I believe it said $8.99 on the tag. So like whatever 30% off of that is. If you guys could just run remember it was 30% off this whole time, that'd be great. And I'll just read you whatever's written up the day. Okay, this is just a black long sleeve t-shirt. Totally boring. However, when I touched it, I knew it was Lululemon. And I don't know if they didn't or if they were just like, hey, this thing's pilled to heck and back, which is fair. But they've had it at $4.49. And I was like, mm, can't leave that behind for that. So we shall try our best to depill all of the seams, which are all pretty pilled. But yeah, sometimes you just sometimes you just know what you're looking at or what you're touching. And you thrift long enough in the Vancouver area, you're gonna know Lululemon by touch feel. Another Another thing that's useful when shopping sweaters is knowing the feel of wool or cashmere or alpaca, you know, like just high quality materials. And I knew as soon as I touched this, this was a high quality material. And it didn't have any like brand tag in the back here. It just had this $9.99 value village tag, but the brand tag had been cut out. So I looked at the care tag and sure enough, it was 100% wool. And it's from, I don't know how you say this, COS, D-O-S, which is a brand that all their dresses have so many likes from our closet and then their shirts and t-shirts don't do that well but I have never tried a sweater so I'm down to try a sweater especially you know 30% off $10 and so hopefully we could sell this for I have no idea 35 to 40 okay I got a, a bunch of cute little like kitschy sweaters like this first of all this was $4.49 and it says the large but I mean like sure it doesn't have a tag I think it's just some random hand knit thing it's so cute the same thing happened to me on this thrift trip that happened on my last thrift trip. What I'm referring to is someone came up to my cart, which I was standing right next to this time. She goes up to my cart, like, let's say this is my cart, picks up this sweater and goes, oh, and I'm like, hello. And she's like, hi, can I look? And I was like, I'm going to buy that. And she was like, you're going to buy all of this? And I was like, yes. And she's like, oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> and I was like, how is this happening? That's two times in a row that someone has shopped out of my cart. What is happening to the world? I don't, I, I don't, what? That, that's so beyond rude to me. Like, I, ugh. Anyway, that happened again. But I was really happy with this sweater. It's obviously like an adorable little like grandma knit sweater. And it was whatever, 30% off. 449 is I don't even know what that is so yeah um I love the sweater so did other people again but this time I bought it next is this free people cardigan sort of thing if you hold it properly like a little cropped sort of layering cardigan sort of thing anyway it was 7.99 in the size medium and so I thought it was very cute and so I bought it for 7.99 and I'm gonna hang it up Next with Lululemon. I don't know what it is about Lululemon sweaters that Value Village doesn't recognize them or just doesn't think they're valuable. This is an adorable hooded long sleeve open cardigan with pockets and it was $5.99 and I was like, what are you doing? So picked that up. It's very cute. It's got these pockets. I must sell it. Okay. Next was this Babaton little blouse. It's got the Babaton fabric made in Japan, which like, 
I think that's relatively modern in the last few years they've been doing that. Um, it was $12.99. I was pretty torn on this. And I looked up comps and I was like, ah, no one's selling this. So I just took a chance on it. It is just polyester, but I thought it looked like a modern Babaton shirt. And with the 30% off, it's like, what, $9? So hopefully I can sell it for $35. Okay, it wasn't a Ritzy and Lululemon heavy haul. This is a Wilfred cardigan. It's wool. It's in a size 2, $14.49 before the discount. So like, I don't know, 10 bucks. And it's just very clearly very substantial fabric, wool. I think there was not rabbit hair, alpaca in the blend. And I was like, yep, people will pay for that. And also it's a size one, which I believe is a newish thing that they're doing as well. So fairly modern. Heck yes, give me that sweater. Let's get a hanger for the hanger. So we hang things and we hang them. Hang, hang, hang. <laughs> Okay, this is another Wilfred item. Who would have thunk? Oh, it's Wilfred free. This was $12.99 for a Wilfred bodysuit. I don't recommend you pay that, but this one's new text. And I looked so hard for flaws. I swear to God, if you tell me there's a flaw in this right now, I'll kill all of this. However, this is new text, so I'll be able to find the style really easily. And you know, Wilfred, I'm sure this was like $55. Um, because it's new tags, I thought it was a good pickup, and we'll see how it goes. Oh. I love this. Okay, this is another Lululemon shirt. I knew again from touching it. I don't know how to explain it. Did they like make a new fabric that no one uses? I don't, I don't know why, but you can just tell like when seams and things are Lulu. And sure enough, in the bottom corner here was their little Lulu thing. I've never seen this style before, but it's pretty cute got like this kind of layeredness at the bottom. I don't know. And it looked like it was in really good condition. Tag said $8.99. So math, I'm not doing it. I think this will go fairly well. We shall see. Okay, I was a little torn on this, but $5.99. Great, I'll do it. I don't like the style of it very much. That's why I was torn, but it's free people. And it's like a poncho, like pullover, woolly, open knit thing in a size extra small. Free People is just like one of the brands that we sell the most of. So I'm, I don't really pass it up super often unless it's overcharged or... No, I just, I don't, I don't pass it up that often. Next, we got this Staring at Stars sweater, wool sweater. I've been cooling it on Staring at Stars, even though I know it's anthropology. And yes, it should sell better in Canada. But the reason I picked this up is because it was $9.49. It was a size large. Large, $9.49, like, you know, so like $6. God, I don't want to think about math. Okay, but it's obviously made of wool and it's like a long drapey cardigan with pockets. All of those things are like reasons to pick it up even by itself. It's 60% wool, 40% viscose. So like there's a lot going for this that would have made this a more substantial expensive sweater at Anthropology. And I do still think a Canadian will probably buy it for what I'm going to price it at, but I've been surprised before and I'm happy to be surprised again. How cute is this? I am not 100% sure that I'm selling this. I might. I don't know. It's just so cute. It doesn't have a brand or like it did, I'm sure, but it doesn't anymore. Yeah, all the tags of it were cut out. Fair enough. Cozy sweater. I just, I like that print. It was $7.99. So like, oh my God, I can't. I can't with the math. I'll just stop trying because every time I'm like, screw math. And that's not a good message for the children, is it, Stephanie? So, I don't know, five bucks, eight, six, six or five or six dollars. And I was like, this is adorable. So we'll see what I do with it, but I'm going to hang it up with all the rest of the death pile for now and we'll just see what happens. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll wear it once or twice and then sell it. Maybe I'll never sell it. I just don't know. I posted about this on my Instagram and a lot of people were like, that's adorable. And then some other people were like, that's ugly. But it was the second thing I saw and I knew that anyone who thinks this is adorable would want this. It was also $5.99. It says made in Korea, which is generally vintage. And yeah, it just looks vintage in general anyway. However, my friend may have shoggied this. I, I'm not sure if she was kidding yet or not. So if she if she wasn't kidding, uh, this is hers. And then if she was kidding, I will sell. <laughs> but her son is named Teddy. So uh, teddy bears all over the sweater. It's got like bumblebees and flowers and bears. And it's just so, ah. Uh, this is, this is adorable grandma core vibes to the max. So it may or may not be for sale. We will see. Okay. And it is not a successful thrifting trip unless we find some icebreaker. Correct? Correct. So this is an icebreaker merino size medium 260. 
quarter zip. I didn't see holes, but there could be one, but there weren't like any giant or obvious ones or like more than five or six, which is basically what I'm looking for when I'm looking at Icebreaker. And it was $9.49, so like $6. So that's amazing because I even with holes, I could probably sell it for $25 to $35. Uh, without holes, I think I should be able to sell it for $35 to $50. So I love Icebreaker and it's becoming one of our most thrifted items. Like every time we see it we pick it up almost it's got like a drop shoulder it's extremely oversized it says it's a medium it's by anthropology again that same tag and it was $7.99 before discount look at what i'm wearing it's like the same as what i'm wearing except this is like not waffle knit for one not anthropology for another but both both the vibes of like i like green and i also like being in a tent so i feel like other people also like being in a tent it's just cozy okay next this is a scotch and soda cropped long sleeves knit sweater 7.99 it's in a size two i don't know what they mean by that probably just like medium or mm, second biggest the care tag is sadly cut out though so i'm hoping i can find online like what the care or what the fabric content of this was. I believe there's some wool in it, but it wouldn't be 100% wool and I don't know. So I would like to find that, but I think it should sell even without that. It was, did I say it was $7.99? Yeah, so anyway, it's scotch and soda. <laughs> this is big, this is a big boy. Yeah, my cart filled up pretty quick also because of how freaking bulky all the sweaters are. This, I can't even like, <laughs> do you see how long it is? See, I think it's very long. This is like a full length. I don't even want to say duster because it's knit and like thick and that doesn't feel dustery to me. Long line knit cardigan. This is from Torrid. It's in a size three. It's got these little sequin details at the sleeves, which is cool. I got it because of how substantial of a piece it is and because it's Torrid and that usually sells pretty quick for me. This was $11.99 before the discount. So I don't know, nine bucks might be reasonable, yes. Or eight. Nope, I don't know. We'll see. I am short. I love this. Okay, once again, we have Lululemon. I could not tell you how I knew on this one. Like, I think it's maybe the, like the fact that there was this seam running up the back. And I was like, that seems like Lululemon-y. It it's not, doesn't feel like any special fabric or anything. And I guess you can also kind of almost see where that was cut out. Anyway, it was $9.99 before discount. This is a Lululemon sweater. It's got pocket. And it, of course as this I, maybe they do notice because i can't believe that they're that i don't know unobservant that they wouldn't notice so maybe they do just think that that's what this is worth and i just i just disagree i feel like i could sell it for 40 so we shall see we shall see Stop running. oh yes Alfred. i told you it was a wilfred lululemon kind of haul uh this is a wilfred shirt i was pretty sure i was gonna leave it at first because when i first saw it i was like oh it's just like i saw this right so i was like oh it's just a black crew neck i'm not gonna sell that but when you pull it out, it actually got this cute little pebbling detail at the end, and it was in a size small, and it was $7.99. So, I do believe this should go for about 30 bucks. Hopefully I paid around 6 I don't know. Oh, yes. Yeah, see, they must have lowered their prices, because there's no way this would have been $10.99 a few weeks ago at My Value Village. It would have been like $16.99 which is different but this is this was 10.99 it's free people it's an extra small and look how cute it is also this i would call a duster and it's hooded and it's just basically so freaking cute so i put this in my cart immediately and i don't i haven't looked up comps so i don't know sometimes you should do that this is a Babaton cardigan. I actually did look up comps for this cardigan in store. People were selling them anywhere from like $20 to like $70. I don't think I'm gonna be on either of those ends. Anyway, it, it says fine merino wool Babaton extra small on the little tag. It was $11.99 before discount and I'm pretty sure it's a very a fairly recognizable one. Oh, I forget the name of it. I knew in store and I'm hoping to list it around 65 ish dollars and I'll accept down to like 40 US. <laughs> Another Wilfred piece. What do you know? So this is a Wilfred sweater. I tried my best to check it for flaws, but I couldn't find any, which like, why did someone donate this? It basically looks new and not to mention like it looks new. Okay. It was $13.99, but it's also got the new like sizing that Wilfred does, the Wilfred size two thing. So I was like, oh, that's modern. And sure enough, it's 55% alpaca and like something percent wool and some nylon. And I was like, um, yeah, I'm gonna buy that. I'm gonna buy that. I'm gonna list it high. Thank you, modern. Aritzia pieces. I seem to favor Wilfred. No, I don't. I just find it more than Babaton. Okay, just a few more. This, of course I picked this up, is the Lululemon Swiftly Tag. 
and you can cut off the tag, which is fair because I think we might not sell it. It's a size eight. And so I'm going to see if my mom wants it. She really likes Lululemon long sleeve swiftly text and size eight should fit her perfectly, but it is like a dark forest green, which isn't really her vibe. So I'm just gonna bring it and be like, do you want this? Yeah, and if she does, it's hers. And if she doesn't, one of y'all can have it. Super easy to pick this up. And I believe it was $14 before the discount. So uh, 11, 10, I don't know. <laughs> okay, this is an Eddie Bauer half zip and I wouldn't have picked it up except it's new with tags. And it also, I think it's the cutest thing ever. Like, I really do. And it's in a size extra large, great size. I think it's cute Aztec print. It's like fleecy. And the tag says it would have retailed for 90 Canadian dollars. So that should be adequate. I believe it was $12.99 before the discount. So like nine-ish dollars, which is amazing. I'm not going to keep it. I'm not, I can't keep it. We can't keep all the stuff, guys. Ugh. I'm a little all over the place today, aren't I? This is by far my favorite thing I found. Look at it, it's mage. The mage, it's in a size one, and I remember it being $15. So hopefully we can sell it for more than that. And or I love it. No, uh, I do love it though. Let's see what she made of. Acrylic, cotton, nylon, elastane. That sounds about right. <laughs> Me like, I agree with you the one who knows the facts. But yeah, it didn't have any flaws. It was mage at Value Village. It was 30% off. You know, I'm gonna get it. I just love it. I wanna keep it, but I won't. So anyway, that was the haul. That was all the cool stuff that I found that I thought was worth picking up to flip for a profit. Let me know down below if you had a favorite item or if there was something that I didn't pick up in the thrift that you were like, go back and get that. It's too late now, I'm sure. But you know, tell me anyway. Regret is learning. I am all done for today. I will see you guys in the next video and have a great sales time. You can do it. Go list. Yeah, Ethan, I'm all done. This microphone doesn't go to Ethan, does it? Yeah done filming i am done i'm not weird you're weird do you want to say anything i feel like this is a reporter mic and i'm gonna be like ethan do you have anything to say to the people and ethan's like boobies